Hello, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Montgomery, Vermont today. First time. I think this is the first time I've ever actually even been here, let alone filmed here. And the subject of today's video is uh, the church in front of us and its parsonage right next door. Convenient that the next door to one another. All right, so the Community Baptist Church and Parsonage are an historic church property at 2 and 10 Mountain Road in the center of Montgomery, Vermont. And let me show you the center of Montgomery, Vermont. Don't blink. If you blink, you may miss the town of Montgomery. Alrighty. So, the church, built in 1866, is a prominently placed example of Greek Revival architecture, while the adjacent parsonage house is a well-preserved example of the colonial revival. Ta-da! The church was, for many years, a center of social activities in the town prior to its closure in 2011. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2015. Community Baptist Church stands at the very center of Montgomery's main village on the east side of the triangular junction of Vermont Route 118 and Vermont Route 242, also known as Mountain Road. Just north is the Trout River. I'll show you the Trout River when I do the walk around of the building. It is a two-story wood frame structure with a gabled roof, collaborated exterior, and fieldstone foundation. The west-facing front facade is distinguished by a tall Greek Revival temple portico with four paneled square Doric columns supporting an entablature and plain gabled pediment. A two-stage square tower rises from the roofline with corner pilasters on both stages and louvered openings on the second belfry stage. Two entrances flank a central rectangular stained glass window on the main facade. The one and a half story Colonial Revival Parsonage stands just north of the church. Okay, so let's break down some of those things I just said. If you've been watching my videos, then you've, you have seen Greek Revival style buildings before. But if you have not, let me introduce you to them. This right here is the pediment. The, uh, it is the gable end that typically faces the street on a Greek Revival style building. Not always, but typically. The entablature is this piece that runs down here. The Doric columns are here. They are square, as they said. And uh, let me zoom in for you. Maybe you can't see. There you go. All right, so Doric columns in the three levels of ancient Greek columns is, uh, are, are the most basic. And we can see that there's really nothing fancy about them. The, the, uh, except for these panels right here, on each one, there is no other decoration to them. Also, you want to note that there's no um, steeple up here. The reason for that is uh, there was always a fear in rural communities especially that the steeple would blow off. So they either did not put one on when they built it or they took it down uh, for that fear. All right, so the two entrances, uh, let me see. There's one right here and there's another one right there. And then in the center there, there's that rectangular window. We'll be over there in just a moment, I'll show you. But the two entrances were typically because women sat on one side of the church and men on the other. And how much easier is it if you have just two doors that enter the church? Montgomery's Baptist congregation was first organized in 1820. with 10 people and was the community's third Christian denomination. Divided by Millerism, this, organ this congregation disbanded about 1843 and a new one was organized in 1846. These organizations met in a variety of spaces until this church was built in 1866. A carriage barn, now demolished, 
was added behind the church in 1873, and the house next door was acquired as a parsonage. The present parsonage house was built on the foundation of the older one in 1922, the same year the Baptists merged with the Congregationalists. The church has long been a focal point of town-wide activities, including the hosting of social events such as suppers and organizations like the Boy Scouts. The Baptist congregation finally disbanded in 2011 due to its small size, and the building has been taken over by a local community group. You can see it's uh, the Montgomery Center for the Arts, which is pretty fantastic. All right, I'm going to cross the street in a moment. There is traffic coming, so hang on. All right, here we go. We can see the, uh, this door much better now. It's no longer in shadow. And we can see there are three very shallow steps here. See the art show? <laughs> see through June. It is June uh, 4 today, I believe. Yes, June 4, 2022. This place is in desperate need of a paint job. The portico, by the way, if you think about um, ancient Greek temples, there would be a, a row of columns and then a, a walkway. So that's what a portico is. There's that stained glass window in the center. Yeah, I don't think the ceiling needs paint. I think it needs to be cleaned because it doesn't look like plywood. It looks like that uh, particle board stuff. But let's face it, the whole place needs a paint job. Perhaps not the uh, green uh, lattice over here. Trout River is over here. I don't know about you, but the sound of running water is so soothing. This path leads around to the uh, parking area out back where the carriage house, carriage barn would have been. Walking in through a cemetery. <laughs> There's the parsonage right there. That is a parsonage anymore, but it was at one time. And here, oh, that is a What does that plastic on the window tell us? What does it tell you? Tells me heat. Heat uh, escapes through these windows. Maybe they're single pane. Could be single pane. More stained glass up here. I got to get the whole picture. A window, rather. And then we have the Trap River again on this side here. Between the breeze and the trees and that rushing water. I'm in love with the sounds. And the carriage barn. 
would have been back here. Excuse my car in the uh, in the picture. I don't know about you, but let me let me let me go uh, back a little further. I don't know about you, but maybe I just watched too many scary movies. But uh, the back of this church reminds me of the house, of the Amityville Horror House. If it does to you too, hey, put it in the comments below. Alrighty, well this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. If you want to see the photographs, of course you want to see the photos, right? Instagram and, travel and um, Facebook, traveling for history for both of those. One L in traveling. I'm also on Twitter, traveling for high one, traveling for HI with the numeral one. Would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It would really rock my world. I upload every day of the week, still. And uh, I'm enjoying the places I am sharing with you, so I hope you enjoy them too. Until I see you again, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history.